one, two, three. Hey guys, it's Lexi, and welcome to a new video. Um, I'm going to be talking about the supervised weight loss meal plan that you do at the beginning of your bariatric surgery journey. Um, I've struggled to find videos on them from people who actually went through it. Um, there are a few videos out there that talk about it from bariatric centers. If you, super, if you search supervised weight loss, bariatric surgery, supervised weight loss, um, but I, I, I couldn't, I struggled to find any information about it before I went and it is not, it is not what I thought it was. But first I want to give a disclaimer. I am in no way a health, health, but first I want to give a disclaimer. I am not a healthcare professional. If you're interested in bariatric surgery, I suggest you first talk to whoever your primary care physician is, um, and then go from there find a bariatric center. Um, you could go to some of the seminars. There are ways you can find out more about it through the places you'll go, through the center that you go through to, to perform your surgery. So I suggest reaching out to your doctor to start with to see what they think about you even getting it because you're probably going to have to have a referral from them to even start the journey unless you're a self-paying. With that being said, the people down the way could just stop breaking the law that'd be great um with that being said I have the paperwork from my visit today and it is not at all what I thought it was the point of it is not what I thought it was so I wanted to talk about that a little bit first of all the supervised weight loss plan meal plan the place I'm going through requires you to do three months um my insurance requires you to do six um so of those six um, visits, two of them in person, the first one, which was a class with other people in today where they gave you the handout and he goes over the handout and you fill out some paperwork information and then they weigh you. Um, and then the third visit is your in-person, um, personal visit with the dietitian. Um, and that is the one where he has to see that you're doing the plan in order to get approved. Um, and then the rest of them are virtual ones and what my, the place, what the dietitian for the place that I'm going through, what their, um, program is, is they basically, um, will send you through the, um, through the, the website they use to called my chart. They send you like a questionnaire that you have to, um, fill out and you have 48 hours from when they send it to you to fill out. Um, the only way that you have to re if you, t in order for you to have to like restart it, you would have to have a no call, no show basically for one of your dietitian classes, one of the visits. Um, you can reschedule them, but if you just stop, show up, stop showing up, the whole process starts again. Um, and the next thing he talked about was the whole point of it is to get you started on, um, healthy habits. Um, he, he said that he's not worried about how much weight you lose at this point because you'll lose the weight once you have the surgery. But if you do follow this meal plan, you'll lose weight. Um, but the point of it is not to lose weight. The point of it is to, <coughs> excuse me, the point is to basically get you started on how you're going to be eating once you get the surgery because it is a lifelong commitment. Um, he said that you won't be able to eat like normal people again. Um, I think he said your nutrients won't absorb the same way. I'm trying to remember everything that he said. Um, it's a life. It's, it's different. Everything that you do is different. He said right now your stomach is about the size of a football. And after you have it, your stomach is going to be a pro about two ounces large. Um, I don't have anything that's two ounces. He had like two one ounce cups. Like it was like the cups that you like take medicine in at the hospital. Um, and he held them together and held it up. And that was, that was how big your stomach's going to be. Um, so the main thing he said is that you want to get your protein in. Um, one girl asked about hair loss and he said some people experience it, not everybody. And the main thing is that you want to make sure you get your protein in because he said you need protein. Um, so, so the main thing you want to do is you want to get your protein in because protein is going to be very important for the rest of for the rest of your life, basically. Um, so the first thing he, he went over was he started going over the meal plan. So he, there's several sections. So the first section was the protein choices, lean meats and dairy. 
Um, if you see me looking down, I'm going over the um, pamphlets he handed out. They will hand you out pamphlets during your dietitian appointment. Keep them. He said, look at them. They tell you where they want you to get your um, your supplements at, what supplements you need. Um, if they have a private Facebook group, um, they'll tell you how to get how to get access to that. Um, so this will tell you everything you need basically to do with your meal plan. Um, so for the protein choices, you have to have lean meats and dairies. Um, so they want you to have six ounces per meal of um, protein. Now this is before, this isn't even when you get to the pre-op diet where it's all liquids. This is at the very beginning of your journey when you're trying to get approved for the weight loss surgery. Um, so they want you to have a high protein diet, six, um, six, four to six ounces per meal. Um, the things he said you want to avoid are high fat breaded or fried meats. Also avoid all nuts, seeds, peanut butter, and nut butters. Um, you can have a limit of a half a cup per day of beans because they have a high amount of carbohydrates. Um, he says choices include like white beans, chili beans, navy beans. There's a whole list of them on there. Then he said you could have um, pork, beef, veal, poultry, fish, shellfish, game, deli meats, soy. And then they specifically list Boca or Morningstar farm products. Um, you can have like turkey sausage, turkey bacon, center cut bacon. Um, you can also have reduced fat cheese and low fat cottage cheese. You also say when you're eating cheese, you want to stick to hard cheeses and stay away from soft cheeses. Cause I guess soft cheeses are soft because they have a high amount of fat in them. i um, one girl also asked if you can make like homemade, like Parmesan chips, which I think basically is you, you bake the Parmesan in the oven and then you like, I think it has to be fresh Parmesan. And then, like, you want to, like, get all the, like, the grease off of it. He said that would probably be fine. If you're buying it in store, you want to make sure that you're reading the labels. Even, we'll get to, I'll talk about the next, what I was about to say later. Um, vegetables, pretty much unlimited portions of vegetables. The things you have to stay away from are corn, peas, and potatoes, white and sweet, because they have, because these are vegetables, have high carbohydrates. So those are the vegetables, you're supposed to stay away from those. But pretty much it looks like he said, even if it's not listed on here, as long as it's not one of those vegetables to avoid, you can have it. Um, um, the next thing, okay, the next thing he talked about was milk and yogurt. Um, so you want to avoid full fat yogurt, 2% milk or whole milk. I can have skim milk, 1% milk, skim fair life milk or carb master milk from Kroger. Um, you can choose any low fat or light yogurt, carb master yogurt from Kroger, or light Greek yogurt, um, because they have a high concentration of calcium and protein, um, but they do have carbohydrates, so, like, you can have eight ounces of them, um, and then it talks about, you can have half a cup of fruits, um, you can ha want to avoid all, um, all fruit juices and dried fruits. You can ha you can choose less often. They said to choose grapes, watermelon, bananas, mangoes, and pineapple. You can have them, just not as often. And then you can have berries of all types: apples, pears, peaches, oranges, grapefruits, apricots, kiwi, cantaloupe, and honeydew. Um, and then starches, grains, and fruit fruits and snack food. You want to avoid them. He did say that there is a what did he say a zucchini. Is there another vegetable sort of the, um, you basically, you can get pasta that has vegetables in it. You just want to make sure you're reading the labels to see how much fat and carbohydrates are in it. Um, but he said you can't really notice the difference, um, when you're, do, when you're eating them. Um, th there's some example of meals. So like four to six ounces for breakfast, four to six ounces of protein, which could be like two eggs with reduced fat cheese. Um, half a cup of low glycemic index fruit, so half a cup of fresh blueberries, and then one cup of milk. Um, and then their example for lunch was like three ounce hamburger patty with one slice of 2% cheese, one half cup of chili beans, side salad with Italian dressing. Um, I said you don't have to like be, you don't have to like start chopping a bunch of vegetables and like go all out just as long as you're sticking to the diet there's some simple cheap ways that you can um 
that you can do the the that you can do this if you guys want me to do a video of me preparing meals let me know because I think I'm gonna prepare breakfast and lunch ahead of time so that I can just grab it out of the fridge and go to work um but um the next thing he talked about fluids he I'm supposed to have 64 ounces of fluids a day give me just one second I'm going to show you guys something Okay, so as, as <clears throat> okay, so as soon as I realized I was gonna start, I was actually gonna try to go through with the bariatric surgery. I bought this. Also, part of the reason I bought it is I bought it for when I was in school, and I can just have um, water next to me. This is, I believe, this is sixty-four ounces. Yes, um, 64 ounces. This is the brand Tal. I got it at Walmart. I'm pretty sure it was $20. Let me get back so you can see it. Um, I'm pretty sure it was $20. It is insulated. It's supposed to keep your drinks cold for up to 24 hours and warm for up to 12. I can tell you, um, I usually work a 7 to 8 hour shift. And when I get off work, the water is still like you just got it out of the fridge. Um, I've left it at work accidentally a few times and it's still cool the next day. It's not like, it's not like ice cold, but it's not room temperature yet. Um, so it works very well. I like it. Um, it has a wide mouth. So if you don't, so like if you're, so like you might have to like pour it into something else if you don't like want to drink, if you don't like want, but it don't come out too fast. I love this thing that screws on there. It also has this thing, which is very sturdy. Um, I love this thing. I love it. It works very well. Um, and this is all the water I need for the day. So if I fill this up with water every day, I have one of those filtered water containers. Um, I don't remember what brand I have, but it's like the great big one that's kind of like low, but it's like big. Um, and um, I fill, my boyfriend will fill that up for me and then he'll fill this up every night and put it in the fridge. So all I gotta do is grab it out. Um, so I'm going to start making sure I drink all this every day. Um, and when I carry this around, I, I tend to less choose like, um, what did I want to say? I don't off, I don't grab for like sodas or juices when I have this. Um, also when I'm on the day on the, in the weeks when I, I'm drinking like mainly out of this and like trying to and stay away from soda stuff. I don't really like candy as much as I used to. It's like the more I drink water and the less sugary stuff I drink, the more candy is just too much. Um, so I suggest one of these if you guys are going through this or just want something that'll keep your water cold all day. Um, it'll keep it cold. And if you, it's, it's amazing. I love it. I'm pretty sure it was $20 at Walmart. They had other colors. I, re I remember they had purple and blue. I don't know if they have more online. Um, that right there is what the symbol looks like. They had other sizes too if you don't want a great big one, but I highly suggest this brand. Um, but I'm supposed, okay, so I'm supposed to drink 64 ounces of fluid. Choice can be less than 10 calories. Um, it says to avoid alcohol. Um, and when they explained this, when he explained this, he said, um, it will be, if you try to drink alcohol after you have back surgery, he said, um, you will almost feel it instantly um, and with none at all. I don't drink anyways, so I'm like a very lightweight. Like I drink like maybe once every five years, but apparently you just shouldn't shouldn't drink at all because um, according to this, um, most of the time you just feel it instantly. Um, you can also choose, um, as drinks wise, water, decaffeinated tea, decaffeinated coffee, Powerade is zero, vitamin water is zero, hint water, um, or zero calorie water flavor enhancers such as Crystal Light, Sugar Free Kool Aid, Whalers Light, Mio, True Lemon, and Dasani. They didn't list Gatorade zero, and I'm wondering 
how many calories are in one of those. I'm going to look it up while we're doing this video. Give me just a second. Okay, so what I'm looking at says Gatorade Thirst Quencher Zero. Um, it has three of them next to each other. Um, it's, it's looking like they have zero calories um, and less than one gram of carbohydrates. 160 milligrams of sodium. I don't know if that's good. Let's compare that to, what do they say, Powerade Zero? Because I've had Powerades before. Okay, so the one I'm looking at, oh wait, that's not, that's not Powerade. There we go. So the one I'm looking at is the Fruit Punch Zero Sugar. So it's in zero calories, it has 250 milligrams of sodium, total carbs is less than one gram. So there is less sodium in the Gatorade than there is Powerade, at least the Fruit Punch. So I'm assuming that means that I could, that the Gatorade Zero would be okay. So I'm going to try some of them. Um, you can also, I don't, they look like they're available in Walmart if you can get a hold of them, which around here it seems like they're selling out fast, but you can buy like pack, like bundles of multiple flavors if you want to see which one you like, or you can just like buy a different one at the gas station every time you go, you know, or the grocery store. Um, but, um, so that's that you can't have, you, um, you're not supposed to have carbonated drinks anymore. Um, they said they'll let you have some caffeine, but not a lot. Um, also he wants you, us to start doing our bariatric vitamins. The vitamins are going to take, you have to take them for the rest of your life. He said he wants to start taking the vitamins now, um, because he wants you to get into your developing habits. That's what the whole point of this is. So you can start developing habits so that when you do have the surgery, you're not just throwing feet first into it. You, you've done it for three to 10 months. Cause like some, he said he, he made a comment though. He didn't have anybody who was 10 months for their insurance. So it sounded like they can make you go do up to 10 months. Some insurance will make you do 10 months of the, um, of this supervised diet. Um, lost my train of thought. What was I talking about? Give me just a second. Um, but yeah, the point of it is to, you're developing these habits that you're going to have to eat this way for the rest of your life. Um, so, um, he says you got to have chewable pro bariatric multivitamins with iron or celebrate one 45 daily multivitamins. Um, and then if you have the gastric bypass ruin Y, um, he says to have chewable calcium citrate 500 milligrams three times a day. If you have the gastric sleeve, um, he says you can have chewable calcium carbonate or citrate five. If you do the citrate, you have to do the 500 milligrams two times a day. If you get the carbonate, which he says is cheaper and easier to find, you can do 600 milligrams twice a day. He did say when you first have the surgery, you will have to have the chewable ones. So he suggests you start with them now. Um, but he said he's he said they get samples and he's tried them before. And he said a lot of people say they make them gag and stuff, but he said, if you chew it up and then take a little water with it, he said it, it's gone in like five seconds and it's, it, you're, you're, it's done with it. Um, so then the, I'm going to give you the websites they told, he told me about, they told us about on here to get them from. So the ones that they suggested getting them from, cause I guess they've done their research to see what is appropriate and what you need. They suggested that you get it. They said you need to get it from these websites, their program. They said they've looked at the other ones. It's not going to give you what you need. Um, they said ProCare Now. 
He said you they have an option to get the this is for the multivitamins. You can get the calcium he said anywhere. But the bariatric multivitamins, you can get them f- um from Procare Now. All one word. P R O C A R E N O W dot com. Um for eleven ninety nine they will repeatedly send they will send you the, your vitamins every month or you can buy it one time for thirteen forty. They have chewable or capsule versions. And then Celebrate Vitamins, um, you can get the cost of Celebrate 145 multivitamins. Um, You can get them from their office for more. Um, Or you can get them online from Celebrate Vitamins, C-E-L-E-B-R-A-T-E-V-I-T-A-M-I-N-S dot com um, for $16.95 for capsules and $17.95 for chewables. Um, and then it says the cost of, uh, um, calcium differs. He also says, they also say chewable calcium citrate options are also available at www.bariatricadvantage.com. Just the word bariatric and advantage. Um, okay. And then... Um, what is, okay, so he wants us to journal while we eat, but he just wants you to do it a couple times a week. Um, he suggested my fitness pal, lose it or bury it, bury atastic. He said the bury atastic is for people with bariatric surgery. And he suggested that one. He said he personally thinks it's better than the other ones. He could also do like a small notebook or something. Um, but he said, you just need to do it a couple times a week. Um, also exercising. And this is the part that surprised me the most. He only wants us to exercise up to 60 minutes a week. He said, cause it's hard to lose weight when you're exercising, Be, I guess because you're exercising, you're sweating, you're burning calories and it makes you hungry. Um, so he suggested only exercising. It says begin with 20 to 60 minutes of exercise three days per week. He said 60 minutes a, um, a week is what he wants you to do. Um, anything else? Um, drink lots of fluids. Uh, stop eating as soon as you feel satisfied. You do not have to eat everything on your meal plan. It is normal if you cannot finish a whole meal. If you continue to eat past feeling satisfied, you may experience vomiting after surgery. Heavy foods may make you feel full more quicker. There is a difference between full and satisfied. Satisfied is a feeling of neither hunger nor fullness. If you feel full, then you have already eaten too much. Um, Take your time with meals. We would like you to spend 30 minutes per meal because it takes your body 30 minutes to feel full. Huh. Eating too fast can lead to vomiting after bariatric surgery. You can slow down by taking small bites, chewing 20 times, putting your fork down between bites. Interesting. Um, anything else I can tell you guys about this? It says keep a food log and bring it to all appointments. Write down what you eat. Um, do not drink with meals or 30 minutes after your meal unless you feel that your pouch is not emptying the food or medication. So I guess because it takes you 30 minutes to feel full, don't eat for 30 minutes after the meal. I see a lot of people saying that they drink their water. They'll drink an hour after they have, after they have their meal. Um, and he said it's very important that you eat three times a day because once you get the surgery, he he, cause your stomach is so small, you can't eat like one big meal. Um, so that's one thing that I'm going to struggle with that and like not feeling like I have to eat everything on my plate. I eat when I'm bored and I, um, I, if it's sitting next to me, I will just continue to nibble at it. So I, I'm, it's going to be very important for me to, I got a food scale a couple years ago. Um, I have an old video where I started to try to lose weight on my own. Um, I bought a food scale and a food chopper, um, which I've never really used, but my boyfriend loves the food chopper. Um, if I can find it, I'll leave a link below. It comes with all different kinds of tools with it um it's also like you put it in maybe i'll do a video if i do some meal prep or i show it to you um but basically like it's it's like this clear container and has a lid on top like this hard plastic lid and then you put the different pieces on there underneath the lid and then you hold the handle which like 
the hand would be here and like then it's got this big um lid right here with the handle at the end of it and like underneath here would be your chopper and you hold it way down here and you pull it down um you got to make sure you chop you're kind of getting things in small pieces um but it's it's amazing my boyfriend loves to use it when he cooks um so there's that I can't think he said there was something else I wanted to mention and I don't remember what it was let me think for a second I can't think of whatever it was that I wanted to say. I'm trying to think of the slideshows he went through. That's basically it. That's basically the diet that I'll be on. Um, but I, I haven't heard a lot of people really that I can find speak about the, um, the supervised visit. So I just thought I'd do a quick video on it. This isn't going to be the weight loss video for August. I'm probably going to post this as next week's video. Um, it's the 11th of, Fe of February. It's the 11th of July right now, 2022. So with that being said, I think that is all the information that I can give you right now. Um, I highly suggest if this is something you're interested in talking to your doctor and seeing if, um, the place he suggests has a um, free seminar you can go to. If not, there are lots of bariatric centers on YouTube that have videos that can basically give you a lot of information. The place you want to go to may have a YouTube channel where they have their bariatric staff talking about bariatric surgery. You may be able to, like, some, mine has, like, videos, I think, where they introduce you to different um, doctors, um, and then they have videos like the first thing they do is send you two videos. One of them, I think, inter introduces you to all the doctors. And the second one talks about the different types of weight loss surgery that they offer. Um, so do your research. There's lots of bar And even if it's not the place you're going to go to, one of the first things I noticed when I was watching videos is the one of the first things most of the bariatric doctors who put videos up on YouTube, like on their own, like their own channel, they will tell you in somewhere in the video is to make sure that you are doing what your physician tells you to do, what your surgeon tells you to do. Their videos are for their patients and as well as to give you an idea of what to expect, but you still, they still tell you, you need to listen to what your surgeon wants you to do um, because every surgeon, I guess is every place is a little bit different. So you want to make sure what your surgeon tells you to do is what you do, but there's way places you can go to get information on what the different surgeries are, um, what to expect. Um, there's lots of information out there from the bariatric staffs at different places that can, if you watch them, it'll give you a good idea of what you're getting yourself into. Um, I also, I highly suggest you do your research. Um, there's lots of, the, because it is a lifelong commitment, and once you do this, you ha it, you're, it's for the rest of your life. you got to take the vitamins for the rest of your life. You have to eat this way for the rest of your life. So if it's something you're interested in, I highly I encourage it, but you make sure you know what you're getting yourself into and that it can be something that you can commit com commit commit to for the rest of your life because it's once you do it, that's it. The, you, you've done it, um, but... The dietitian said you will lose the weight. Um, just under know, know what you're getting yourself into first. Do your research. Make sure it's for you. Um, with that being said, my next video will more than likely not be anything to do with bariatric surgery. It'll be something else. I'm thinking about doing one where I try on a bunch of my clothes, which is kind of like weight loss related, but not really. I kind of just want to see... What I look—I like. got the idea from Sarah Barbis. Give me just a second. Yeah, a YouTuber named Sarah Ray Vargas. She just had a tummy tuck, and she did a video on her main channel where she trying out a bunch of different outfits before and after she had it. Um, so I kind of thought I would do that. Just see what, like, just, just to see 
Like, I like those videos with, like, this is what I wore before I lost weight, and then now the same outfit. I could fit in it twice. Like, I think that would be really interesting for me to see later on. Um, I think that's it. I think that's all I got for you guys. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell. Subscribe if you're not already. I will be following my weight loss journey. Um, partly for me. Partly because maybe I'll inspire somebody else to take this journey. Um, but I also want to be able to look back on this and see where I came from and where I was in a few years down the road. I apologize if I'm a little hoarse. I went to a Backstreet Boys concert with my mom last night and I have never, I, I don't remember when the last time I had that much fun is I got, mom bought me two t-shirts. I got, I got this one, the Backstreet Boys DNA World Tour. And then I also got one, it's kind of like this, it's black, but like it's, it's slightly different. Couldn't decide which one I wanted. So mom was like, get both of them. I'm like, I. And that's expensive. It was like 45 bucks, but she bought me both of them. Um, I had a blast. I was exhausted. My legs still hurt. My, my body still hurts today. My voice is a little hoarse after scra I screamed and sang for like two hours last night. It was amazing. Um, but I enjoyed it and it was fun. But anyways, you guys didn't come here for that. Um, yeah. Um, let me know if you guys are going through a similar journey below. If you've already done this. And you have any tips for me or anybody else, let me know. And I will see you guys in whatever video I decide to do next. Mwah! That was, that was weird. We're not going to do that again.